Dingoes, I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today, we will have a short and sweet protocol review of Tornado Cash. And in my opinion, Tornado Cash is one of, if not the most important protocol built on Ethereum at this moment in time. It's a financial privacy protocol. And if you know anything about financial privacy, you know the government, any government around the world hates financial privacy because all they want to do is tax you up the butt. They want to tax you until you're dead, basically. Two things guaranteed in life is taxes and dying. So financial privacy is that cr critical. And Tornado Cash has years of experience and tested tech with which are ZK Snark, which is ZK Cat, which is what ZK Cash is built off, which has seen years of success without being compromised. And basically, this governance token cannot be understated. And the importance of this governance token because eventually this governance token will have conflicts with governments because of how of because of how governments hate financial privacy and they're going to try their hardest to take it down but anyways let's jump in right into the price action and also at the end i do have a price prediction in the short term year yearish right so 92 mil market cap two 287,000 circulating 10 mil total so a lot of inflation to come if you want to hold this token i would definitely advise participating in their pools um and just and just increase your position with inflation right so price action lowest support was 211 and we just found support at 270 so looking good enough with price action because that's not what i really care about with this token it's just the importance of this governance token cannot be understated right and let me talk about how ill ill unethical the u.s government is and all governments are around the world so in 1929 the u.s and pretty much the world entered a very bad depression the u.s dollar was once backed by gold like a lot of currencies around the world was once backed by hard money and in 1933 they wanted to increase government spending so what did they do and what did they have to do they had to increase the supply that the government was holding in gold so they could increase spending right and jumpstart the economy so what they did was they made it a criminal offense for u.s citizens to own or trade gold anywhere in the world with exceptions to for some jewelry and collector's coins and and, and then just 30 years later they took us off the gold reserve uh, act i believe so in 1960 nixon said hey the u.s dollar is no longer backed by gold so we just basically stole all those all that gold from you 30 years ago and there it's probably it's in fort knox kentucky all the gold is in fort knox kentucky and uh, i would not be surprised if the gold isn't there anymore and it's just a bunch of smoke and mirrors because who knows nowadays i mean i don't really trust much and good thing that blockchain exists because i don't have to trust anybody so, I mean, that's beside the point. Anyways, I'm just pointing out the dollar will continue to devalue and eventually the United States government will have to do something to withhold their power. And that their, their only power comes from monetary manipulation. So they will have to do something. I think they could definitely say, hey, it's illegal for U.S. citizens to own or trade Bitcoin, right? And then they would buy back all the Bitcoin at said price and give you junk ass money for it. <laughs> and then and then there you go they stole all the bitcoin so financial privacy is important obviously tornado cash is built on the ethereum network and the only way to use bitcoin on that is is uh through rap bitcoin which is centralized so keep that in mind this could also happen with a lot of other tokens as well so that's important to to note and let's just let's just go through these steps real quick you do kyc on exchange so the u.s government or any government knows you are the owner of that crypto when you purchase crypto on exchange you send it off to your own personal ethereum wallet or your bitcoin wallet and now the government knows that wallet is associated with you so they know that's your money in there right and then you participate in tornado cash you send it in tornado cash it does their privacy protocol mechanism etc etc you take it out with ethereum wallet address with zero ethereum in it so it has no money in it and you take it out with that address and now nobody in the world knows that's your ethereum address and that's the power of tornado cash to summarize what i just said how tornado cash achieves privacy tornado cash improves transaction privacy by breaking the on-chain link between source and destination address it uses a smart contract that accepts eth deposits that can be withdrawn by different addresses 
To preserve privacy, a relayer can be used to withdraw to an address with no ETH balance. Whenever ETH is withdrawn by the new address, there is no way to link the withdrawal to the deposit, ensuring complete privacy. Boom, shakalaka. That's what I'm talking about. And complete privacy cannot be understated. It's 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 very important. Imagine if they uh, the U.S. government comes out with a very unrealistic tax on crypto. Screw that financial privacy protocol put it through i mean it this could see a lot of uh, if any regulation comes out tornado cash will see a huge increase in volume and that's the power of being on a decentralized blockchain which is ethereum and also using a dao governed protocol because they're decentralized right and nobody has no central organization has power over it and that's why binance chain and tron and every centralized chain out there does not have that much power so keep that in mind guys and and if something goes to shit binance chain will go to shit i mean uh, all the decentralized options will go to shit as well guys because uh, it's centralized right so you go deposit i backed up the note send deposit connects to your ethereum wallet boom shakalaka done and now and then you withdraw it you withdraw it uh with a new ethereum wallet that you just made right so that's what you do vitalik has been tweeting about it for a year plus now so I mean, Vitalik knows when he sees good good projects for sure. So that's what you got to keep your eyes on. Now let's talk about their vesting schedule. 5% airdrop to early users of Tornado Cash. They already had their airdrop. 10% anonymity mining for Tornado Cash. ETH pool is distributed lin linearly over one year. 55% DAO treasury will be unlocked linearly over five years with a three-month cliff. 30%. Founders and devs, that's quite a bit in my opinion, but also they are risking their life and limb. <laughs> I, I don't underestimate because they if they weren't anonymous, they definitely could be arrested and held. I mean, it's it's that serious, guys. It's that serious. There's their vesting schedule. So in 24 months, about 6 million tokens will be in circulating. So keep that in mind. 6 million and currently only 200,000 are circulating. So there's their governance page, short and sweet. If you uh, participate in their governance, you are doing a service for sure, for sure. And their Twitter, check them out. Check them out. Also, Dingle will have a will have a post when this this episode is posted. So I will put the link in my description for the article post. Mr. Captain Jack is writing an ar article as we speak on tornado caching is going to be good i just have a feeling i just have a feeling and now let's summarize quantitative so to tornado cash protocol review on chain privacy privacy primitive other once gas becomes reasonable other protocols will implement privacy and they definitely would imp implement tornado cash quantitative <clears throat> high inflation through mining still relatively low market cap qualitative utility is governance which is probably one of the most important governance protocol token out there for sure only privacy protocol on ethereum to my knowledge hedge regulation risk zk snark zero knowledge proof utilizes utilized by zk cash which has years of proven success integration with other protocols great devs vitalik most likely has worked on it maybe just maybe because at the end of the day he's taking a big risk because he's not anonymous and if you worked on it in a public forum it's it's obvious so uh maybe he did maybe he assisted and talked to their devs but other than that we will see i don't think he yeah he might have he might have if you if you hold this token make sure you mine because inflation is a bitch <laughs> but anyways you really shouldn't care about the price of this token because just the purpose and the utility of the token is so important that holding it will grant you a certain status in society in this web 3.0 infrastructure of a society so price prediction 500 mil market cap six mil circulating in 24 months price will be 100 bucks 100 100 uh, 120 dollars so in two years price would probably go down but also if say we go to a billion dollar market cap that would be that would be 200 dollars, right so keep that in mind i do think we could see some short-term bubbles but i only go off fair evaluations i hold it not because of the price it's because of the importance and that is all dingoes 
I appreciate each and every one of you. Like and subscribe. Go check out Captain Jack's articles on Dingle.com. Link in my description, Discord, and Telegram in the in the description as well, as well as Twitter, personal, and Dingle as well in the description. Peace out, Dingoes, and Dingle Dingle.